Hey, what's up you guys? It's Sunny Mommy and I am here to share with you all my experience on Ancestry. Now, I've been infatuated with my family's history for as long as I can remember, especially with, you know, our family stories of, hey, this is what your great, great grandfather did or this is what your great grandmother was. Um, you always just hear stories and it's always a surprise and it's really sweet when something that you, your grandparents or your mother or your father told you about someone who lived in like the 1700s came out to be true. So I decided to get on Ancestry to see what is going to pop up. Now, not trying to be racial or anything, I knew not to expect much when it comes to the true authenticity of my black heritage like because obviously people of color were slaves and they were also considered cattle so many times the slaves weren't even notarized as humans they would be considered animals so that greatly showed in a big chunk of the black side of my family now I'm going to show you guys what I'm talking about <clears throat> and hopefully it's not too small but I'm going to start with my mother's grandmother. This is my Nana. This is my great grandmother. Right here. See me circling. Obviously, these are her parents. Now, I knew their names already. I already knew what they look like. Mr. Hayden is very dark in color, and Miss Sally Lou is light. I was told uh, in regards to Sally Lou that her mother had long pretty hair and her master would always cut it very short so I wanted to know if that was true to be honest however this is as far as I gotten with Miss Sally Miss Sally Lou so that was low-key out of the equation so her father popped up and his parents popped up and her mother popped up as well so yeah, and that was back in the 1852. So to get that far, um, knowing that they were of color was really, really interesting. And this name right here, uh, Miss Sally's dad's mom, like the last name was like, yo, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of like, okay, that's interesting. Like I never seen Pudsell. I never seen that last name before. So I was hoping that she like more about her family would pop up so yeah and I even tried to google that name uh, the surname the puzzle and nothing popped up so I guess that's a name that is not carried anymore maybe a lot of women carried that last name and they married later on in life now when we go to mr. Uh, mr. Hayden my great great grandfather on my mom's side his parents popped up which is a really cool thing as well I did not know his parents name and I don't even know if my maybe my grandmother knew I, I forgot if I asked her I really don't remember but it popped up to obviously Sam and Susan so that's really cool for that to as well go back to the 1800s that's a blessing but obviously it stops now when I go to my dad's um, my dad's parents now these two right here is connected to my dad's mother and obviously it stops at the man it stops at her dad so I was kind of bummed about that um, and when it goes to um, my group my dad's mom's mom when it goes to her her parents show up we go to Miss Rudy and it shows her parents and then it also shows um, her dad's dad which is really really cool but once again I knew not to get my hopes up high because I already explained it to you about the slaves being classified as cattle now honey I discovered so much when I got to my granddad my dad's dad's side of the family um I was very unaware of the particular races that popped out um, I was always told that it was Irish so 
to find out that it was much more than that and kind of not even from my understanding um not even of irish descent but to get that like understanding of like what exactly it was was really cool but this right here is my dad's dad's mom miss luna and we go to her parents now we're going to start with mr willie I now okay now this is where it got interesting and there was a tale that went along with this side of the family but um my grandfather always told me that his family disowned um this own family like he he didn't really know all of his family so and i i was so young when he told me the story and i really did not remember who exactly so once again this is my granddad's mom's dad's side of the family and there was a tell um that went off of a white woman married her father's slave and this is the proof in the pudding right here miss um miss lisa married mr sam uh her father joel sharp actually owned him so yeah and as you can see the black side did not go all the way in um so that was kind of like oh, okay but the caucasian side of my family just really like grew and so much popped up i i discovered a lot of sharp names um clap garnet and it goes all the way back like when i tell you like all the way back and this side of the family i, I believe it's like german yeah it's like a lot of german stuff pops out and once again like you see it goes all the way back and the little leaves uh goes to the international documentaries like when you get to like the fourth looking names like johan hans and like grafe however you pronounce it but like when you get to like names like that and when you look up the state or the country that that person was born in and if it says something like out of the u.s you are going to have to pay uh for an international subscription but like i guess it goes all the way back to like the 1500s to like that's crazy that's really, really crazy and i thought that was really cool um but yeah and then like you see so much more my computer's acting crazy once again it goes all the way back like it's like the parents great grandparents like it's just so crazy and this goes all the way back to um, the 1300s now let me go back because I know that was kind of confusing but that was connected to uh, who was that connected to uh, that was connected to Miss Lisa's dad's dad's mother so that goes all the way back to England um, I discovered a lot of them was like lords and knights and ladies and dukes so that was really really cool how that popped up um, yeah I also discovered um, some Switzerland in there and I was like yo I didn't even know all of this like I said my granddad would always just say Irish um, and I did not find that one Irish person <laughs> in here to be honest um, I discovered that it started in England and then it went to Switzerland and then German, uh, Germany, excuse me, and then they moved to Pennsylvania and then later on to North Carolina. And my grandfather is from the Eden, um, North Carolina area, I want to say. But yeah, I just thought that was like so crazy. So, so, so crazy. How that, like, popped out and then let's go to his mom my granddad's mom's mom yeah my granddad's mom's mom i don't think that goes back too far i don't but i 
discovered that there was um, another race of like Caucasian in there. But I don't really know of what exactly. I knew that both of his parents um, were of biracial descent. All right, now this is my granddad's dad. We're gonna go to his granddad's dad's dad and see like what pops up. Nothing really pops up there, as you can see. And then let's go to the mom. Nothing really pops up on the mom either. As you can see, it stops uh, the earliest date, 1820s. But to find, um, yeah, to find that like my granddad's dad's dad was like really, like that was the only one that like really had a lot to show. <clears throat> so yeah, like it's, it's a very beautiful feeling to like know, you know, like where your family came from. But like I said, people of color, um, you know, Native Americans, Asians, <laughs> Latinos, like just black, like it's so hard to, you know, at least get into the 1800s. Like if you get into the 1800s, like you are lucky, honestly. Um, and you know, like I said, like the white side of my family goes all the way back to the 1300s. So, you know, that's a disadvantage. Um, and mind you, I did all of this in a two week span. <laughs> so yeah, but hopefully you guys enjoyed me sharing my family history with you all. Um, yeah, I am going to do the actual DNA swab uh, to get a more clarification on what it is I am exactly. So this was just uh, the tip of the iceberg. Um, with me just discovering the names. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye